Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. This is Father Ruben, and I'm so happy that uh, we can be together for the next few minutes for our weekly assembly, this time where we think about God and his love for us, and when we meditate on some of the stories from the Bible, from the church, that show us that Jesus loves us. We are now in the months of October, soon we will be in November. This is a time when days become much shorter, nights become much longer, the weather becomes colder, the wind begins to howl, and soon we're all going to wake up in a sort of winter, won winter wonderland. However, at this time, when nature seems to die a bit around us, well, this time is also the time when the church thinks more about its saints and its martyrs. Now, the saints and the martyrs of the church are not boring people. Forget those images of uh, people dressed in cloaks, playing the harps with little wings uh, on a cloud. Uh, looking a bit snooty. No, 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 no. The church's saints and the church's martyrs are were very courageous, very brave men and women who withstood torture, violence, sometimes even brutal death for Jesus in whom they believed. And their stories are not for the faint-hearted. Their deaths were brutal, sometimes even gory, and Halloween is scary. Over the next few weeks, we're going to look at some of them. But today, we're going to look at St. Alban. St. Alban, the proto-martyr of England. Proto-martyr, a new word we are learning today, perhaps, means the first martyr of England, the first person that died for the Christian faith here in England. It was the year 205 AD in the city of Verulamium, about 1,800 years ago in the south of England. Alban, um, an Englishman, was working in a town called Verulamium. One day, he met a rather unusual man. His name was Amphibolus, and he was a Christian priest. He must have been one of the very first in England because at the time, Christian, Christianity was illegal. But they met and they started to talk to one another. Alban felt a bit sorry for Amphibolus, that hunted man, hunted just because he believed in Jesus. And so he took him to his home and hid him from the Romans. As they lived together, however, over some times, Alban and Amphibolus talked about being Christian and what being Christians means. And Alban decided that he too wanted to become a Christian. He too wanted to follow Jesus. So Amphibolus baptized him in the local river, the river Ver, and Alban became a Christian. However, the Romans heard of that. The Romans discovered that Amphibolus was hiding. And you see, Amphibolus, everybody knew in the town that he always wore a cloak. So, Alban did a very brave thing. He swapped cloaks with Amphibolus, and that meant that he pretended, he started walking in the town and pretended to be Amphibolus. Amphibolus had time to run away, and the Romans um, fetched Alban instead. Alban, ca captured by the Romans, was then taken to the local courthouse uh, to be questioned. They thought he was um, the priest Amphibolus. However, when the governor 
started questioning Alvin, he realized that they had made a mistake. He was an amphibolus. And so, um, with a harsh tone, he asked him, Who are you? Alban replied, I am Alban, and I worship the true and living God. However, the governor was not impressed with that question, with that answer. Christianity was illegal, and so with that answer, Alban had sealed his fate. The Romans used to kill their prisoners outside the city. So Alban was taken up the local hill and uh, he was killed by having his head cut off with a sword. Legends all rose around this. People were so impressed by the courage and the faith that Alban demonstrated, that legends wrote, um, developed around Alban's death. Um, some legends say that where Al as Alban was wa walking towards his place of execution, roses started blooming on the, um, on the grass. Water started coming out of the grass like fountains. And even that at the moment in which he died, the eyes of the Roman soldier that chopped his head off, popped out and fell to the floor. Alban eventually was buried at the top of the hill. And, and, over, and over the years, pilgrims um, went to the place where Alban uh, was killed, where his tomb was, to say a prayer there. And even at today, a lot of Christians still take that journey and go and say a prayer at the place where Alban was executed and eventually uh, died and was buried. Do you know what the modern day name for the city of Verulamium is? Well done if you've said St. Albans. Yes, the city was eventually named after St. Alban because he had been so brave um, to honor him for how brave he had been to remain faithful to God in whom he believed until his death. And um, um, an important monastery was built at that place and eventually a, a large church and now a cathedral. And uh, even if you go today, even at today, if you go to St. Albans, you will see the ruins of the city of Verulamium at the bottom of the hill, and then at the top of the hill, the Cathedral of St. Albans, um, where the shrine uh, where St. Albans was buried, that you can see in this picture, can still be seen today, and you can say a prayer there. We remember St. Albans because he was very brave, and he refused to deny his faith, even though that meant for him to die a brutal death. And if you want to know a bit more about gory and scary uh, stories of the church's saints, look out for this, the Night of the Living Saints on Halloween. Um, we are going to have a trail uh, with stories of the church's saints and the church's martyrs and we are going to have um and are going to have a trail for children where you can go and visit station by station and learn more about um uh, the legends of the martyrs and the saints of the church so make sure that you book for this and i hope to see you there for now let us still our hearts a moment and we're going to say a short prayer you don't have to, to pray with me if you don't wish to, but I, if you want to, I hope that you can join. Thank you, God, because brave men and brave women, like St. Alban, who stood firm in their belief, have left for us an example of how to follow you. Help us to recognize the belief that we have and how important they are, and to hold true to those beliefs 
and th those beliefs in you because you are the God of life and your life and your love are even stronger than death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It was lovely to spend this 10 minutes with you. Have a lovely, lovely rest of the week. Bye-bye for now.